Hello, everyone. Um, I feel very humbled to be in front of you all this morning. Um, I would first like to thank Mr. Coy, the Digital Harbor Foundation, and all those who work to make this day possible. My name is Evelyn Goy, and as Mr. Coy just said, I am a student filmmaker from Congo DRC. I've been living in Baltimore for seven years now. I've been recognized for my work being about racial and cultural diversity, and also about people coming together to make this world a better place. And lastly, I have been recognized by Princeton University to the Princeton Prize in Race Relations for my peacemaking work. A month ago, I started wondering to myself, why is it that we people know that there are people in some parts of the world who are suffering, but we still continue to buy and lavish our money on things that we clearly don't need? And I also started wondering, how is it that a person gets so busy that they don't ever find time to love, to live life? So every time I spend such a long time on such thoughts, something within me just says, well, why don't you make a film about it? So last month, I started working and transforming these thoughts and creating it into a film. I've already recorded a narration for it, and next week I'll be in production mode. But let's talk about today. The topic of today is making a difference. Well, we, we know that people are suffering in some parts of the world. We know that the direction the world is heading into is indeed a dangerous one. And these problems in my mind are like a fire on the mountain, but there's no one running away from that fire. There's no one trying to burn that fire out. I want you to think for a moment. When you walk into a store, the first thing that goes in your head is how those things look beautiful, how they look beautiful on you. Well, today, I, I want you to stop for a minute and to look at every single thing that surrounds you. Think about the story each thing has to tell, not the story your clothes tells your friends about how much money you have, <coughs> and not the story your new phone tells the world about how sophisticated you are. Instead, I want you to think about the story each item has to tell. I want you to think about each person that has touched that item or made that item before it got to you. Think for a moment, not about your status, symbols, costs, and dollars, but for what they cost in lives. If you guys don't know, there are people who die to, to make what you have, whether they're in Bangladesh sewing together your new pairs of pants, which you'll buy in a few months, whether they're in the Congo digging through gold mines, so you can have that diamond ring you're wearing at this moment. All our lives, everything has been centered on us. It's either I that, I this, I have. I want you today to recognize what about if it became about us? What if it became about us working together to make this world a better place? Trust me, I'm not asking you to stop shopping nor am I asking you to stop buying new clothes. But I am asking that you do consider that there is someone in the world who is less fortunate than you, and how we can work together to make this world a better place. Now, everybody wants to make a difference, and the topic of today is making a difference. Well, what about that difference you always wanted to make? That difference, you always say, one day I'm gonna make this difference. Well, well, it's never too early or it's never too late for one to be able to make that difference. Well, you can make that difference now by helping someone in need, by going to volunteer at a homeless shelter, perhaps the tech center. And 
this holiday season, this Thanksgiving, I want you to think about how you can make someone in need smile. I'll be making my own difference by, by gathering together shoes boxes and, and filling them up with school supplies to send to kids who are less fortunate than I. That's not the only difference I've made. I have continued to make films that are really touching upon the issue of race and diversity and are really helping other people to know about where others are coming from and bringing other people together. Um, I urge you to make your difference and surely do make your difference because you don't want to live a life without making a difference. That will be a life without history. I thank you so much for having me this morning and I urge you to make your difference.